I realized that like a lot of you might not be aware of this because I only made one post on my YouTube community tab and one announcement on my Discord server. But like a few months ago, I came out as bi. I would very much appreciate if you held off on any comments being like, oh, what a surprise, Matthew. It's really obvious. We've been new, Matthew. Mostly because I find those a bit uncomfortable, a little bit gross and problematic. So yes, please, none of that. So when I start to dive into shows like this, there's a part of me that keeps like a careful eye on how it's handled, and not in the sense that I'm expecting some like awful bigoted stuff. But a small pet peeve of mine is when shows or movies just have a plot that's just gay. That's all it is. There's nothing else. It's just that these characters are gay. Personally, what makes me a little bit skeptical of media like that is that it can really, really easily like push on the edge of being fetishizing. On the other hand, there are some really interesting shows I like that deal with the same topic, but by like applying it to context, if that makes sense. For example, a show I got really into after my girlfriend introduced me to it was Young Royals. I like that more grounded vibe and one that isn't just like a copy paste of like every gay love story ever. Because not all queer experiences are the same, not all coming out experiences are the same, and I feel like there's a giant world of variety that isn't explored. Anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts ahead of watching this, because I don't know what I'm in for, and I am very curious. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. The link is in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. Now, full disclosure before I hit play, any roasting or ripping or anything like that, it's all lighthearted. Don't, don't, please don't take it personally. Especially because this is the first time I am reacting to something queer while being openly queer. Woo! Oh, I was expecting an intro. Happy for it to go right into it. I guess I, you know, should have seen it coming that it was in a school. I didn't really think about it. Ben Hope. I'm guessing that's like the other guy. Why does this kind of look like the sex ed school? Am I crazy? Oh, they're meeting in secret. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. That was so late. Oh. I don't know if I'm misreading the timing, but did Ben message literally like two minutes before they were meant to meet up? Give some notice, man. Uh, don't forget there will now be students from all school years in your new form groups. I also, for some reason, assumed it was American. It's clearly English now. Ah, yes. You're over there. Next to Nicholas Nelson. One of the rugby boys, too. I think. I'm sure you'll get along swimming. Right, is the, uh... Just sit in silence for the rest of the <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're only a couple minutes in, so... I'm unsure if he's open about his sexuality, or if Ben is, or if neither of them are. But it almost seems like this teacher is, like, reading him, right? He's like, you can go sit next to that guy. I mean, you guys won't have anything in common. Because he's a macho, macho man! And you ain't. <laughs> I'm kind of guessing, uh... Right, okay. Here's my prediction, because he's being sat next to this rugby guy and like the stereotype is, oh, he's like big macho man, he couldn't be gay, but I feel like the story might follow that rugby guy and him and like Ben is just like a misdirect. So they have not met before. Because if so, that's a really creepy way to introduce yourself. Like, can you imagine you're just sitting there writing your notes and this guy just comes up and he's like, Hi. <laughs> the little animated leaves are cute. Oh, oh, it was flowing into the title card. Gotcha. I like the underlying music. It sort of like makes me feel like it's moving. Sorry about oh. earlier. It's fine. Is it though? Because you seem upset. Yeah, it was alright. You? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um... Does he actually like this guy? Or is he just like, oh, well, you know, you're gay too, so we might as well. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. <laughs> See you later, then, yeah. Damn, man. Still don't tell anyone about this. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. They met for like 30 seconds, then the bell rang. He's like, all right, see ya. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the smooch, bruh. I'm outies. <laughs> I feel a little bit like I'm supposed to judge him for being like, just don't tell anyone about this. But you know, while that's like a little bit crass, you can understand it, right? Like it can be a complex situation. I mean, the way he did just like leave it is pretty rude. Is he just like using him to explore or something? Hi. Oh my god, they literally 
Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Is this an evolution of that? He's not even looking at him. This guy's just showing him no notice. Whatever this guy's name, I've already forgotten what his name is. But he's just like staring at the guy every time he walks around in the hallway. Like he's, oh, it's the man, the rugby boy. And rugby boy's just like, I don't give a f and I'm walking on. Although if he turned around at any moment, he'd just see him like staring down the hallway. Like, I see you. <laughs> Are you literally doing your homework or walking to your lesson? I might be. That's very chaotic. Chaotic? It is not at all chaotic. What? I can tell you the answer. Then I won't learn. But if you're stuck, I can just... <laughs> Let me just... Get... Oh my God. How dare you? Am I meant to think this guy's cute? Because right now I'm thinking he's a creeper. You've just said hi to this dude, stared at him all the time. I don't feel like you've had a proper conversation. At least they haven't showed one. But you've just been like overtly ogling him. And then now when he says, no, I'm fine with my homework. I want to do it myself so you can learn. You grab it from him. I'd be like, what the hell is your problem, man? <laughs> Better? Maybe. I mean, I guess like at least he's into it. What? Just, hi. Right. Why are you talking to me? I don't even know who you are. Oh my god, like highlighting the differences? Jesus. Hi, right, mate. Yeah. Well, but like, you know that like, you can have friends and stuff, right? Like, he's like, I can't talk to a guy in the hall. Everyone might think I'm f***ing him. <laughs> Although I say that, and yet people speculate about people like that all the time. Your friends are bad. Oh. Does get complicated that he's friends with Ben. I did it again. Who are you? I bought Elle's drink. Elle's not here. I know. She's not been here a week. I know, I just keep forgetting. Obviously it's better that she's out in all girls school now. You know Mr. Reed was still refusing to call her Elle. Oh, gotcha. She moved because of trans- Oh, that's so sad. Oh my God. Oh, I, it just occurred to me, is this an old boys school? Oh, I thought it was like co-ed and I didn't even think about the fact that I've not seen like a single girl at all. Oh my God, that would suck so much ass. Being a trans woman in a, an all boys school. No wonder she moved. I'm happy for her. The one that looks like a golden retriever. He doesn't look like a golden retriever. He doesn't look like a golden retriever at all. He looks like, like a member of the royal family. You don't have a tissue, do you? My pen just uh, exploded. It's not coming off. The pen off. exploded. It looks like I'm wearing blue gloves. You can make it the new school fashion. I'll pretend it's a tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I can't decide if they're cute or cringe. I guess it could be both. They can be cute and cringe. Be careful. What? Why? Why? Look at them. They're jocks! Manny's friends with a bunch of loud, gross year 11s who are exactly like the guys who bullied you last year. But like. But he's dreamy. He's nice. I bet he's a whole different person when he's with his bro dude friends. <laughs> I mean, honestly, maybe that, that's, a, that's a very valid thing to say and something to be aware of in this situation. Whoever that guy is, his friend, I'm, I'm lacking him. Especially because he's not being forceful about it. He's not like, you shouldn't hang with him. Don't, you're an idiot. Leave him alone, never talk to him. He's just like, hey man, like, like be careful. <laughs> oh no, is she like alone? <laughs> got the same drink because he bought the one for her. That's so cute. Oh, right. He's just gossiping about... Oh, my God. Like, okay. I I was about to be like, that's kind of douchey that he just, like, immediately talks about his friend's feelings like that. But L is part of their friend group, too, I'm guessing. Wait, he's like, why is he like this? Is it a big deal? Or maybe, like, the rugby people bullied L too? Wow. God damn. Oh no, is she gonna lie? She's totally gonna lie. Yeah. Is that a phone now? They're not allowed to have phones out? It's like lunch. What the hell, man? We don't make exceptions, even for new students. You can have this back from reception at the end of the day. You're not allowed to have your phone out even at lunch? What kind of nonsense is that? You must sit alone in silence. We know that no one is hanging with you. You can't even talk to anyone on your phone, okay? If you are not alone, you're not sad enough for us. Ben wants his nookie. He didn't even reply. Fair enough, man. I mean, you know, oh, never mind. He went to it. <laughs> I was like, good for you. Take the power. And he's like, actually, yeah, I will meet you at the library. You know, I'm sorry about ignoring you yesterday. 
yeah, but you don't have to be a dick about it. Like he could have very easily just like said, hey, you know, this is all new to me. I'm really scared, really nervous. So I don't want to do anything that would make people suspect it, especially because everyone gossips in this school and you know that. So if I bump into you around school, I'll just act casual, but I'll make sure to work on my feelings and to understand what I'm going to do better. Instead, Charlie said hi to him in the hall and he just goes, who are you? Why the fuck are you talking to me? Bitch, get out of my way. Oh, hi. Hi, other guy. I know you. I can talk to you. And people won't think you. Fuck you, Charlie. I'm guessing he's like not into Ben at all. Maybe he hasn't ever been. He's just like doing it because it's like, oh, well, I want to explore this. And, you know, Ben's the only one that will at the moment. It's quite a while since you've hidden in here at lunch. I'm not hiding. Then what are you doing? Yeah, this teacher seems chill. There is kind of someone. A bully. Oh. I've. I've got a boyfriend. Oh. Who also bullies me. It's... Okay. <laughs> Damn, the teacher picked up on it immediately. He's dope. But then when it's just us two, he's fine. Well, have you talked to him about how that makes you feel? I mean, that's what I said. Just communicate, right? Maybe you should talk to him then. I'm already so thankful for this teacher character because every time I watch a show or movie like this, I'm just like, can y'all... In? Talk! And they never do. I honestly feel as though like a five minute candid conversation between the two would help things immensely. What about your friends? Have you talked to them about it? They wouldn't get it. Well, why not? Well, why? Because they're not gay. Right. Just talk to him. It's better to be honest That's about- That's what I'm saying! Okay. Whoa! Hello? Okay! Was he not aware of this? So not only is he doing all this to him, but he's cheating too on both of them. What the hell, man? This Ben guy is an absolute dick. No, send it, send it, send it. Oh God, are you actually gonna send that one? Okay, you gotta be careful of blowback of how you handle this, man. Okay, that's fair. That's straight to the point. So you just go, okay, oh. I was literally just half expecting men to be like, all right, I'm gonna go find my next piece of ass. God. If that's what he's concerned about. Bro, he like, it's been like 30 seconds. Give him a second to respond. Literally asked a question and then sent like a hello, like three seconds later. That is a lot of plants in the kitchen. Break up with my boyfriend. Was he a knob? <laughs> yes. Well done then. <laughs> okay, cool. I like you. What sort of boy do you want to go out with? Someone who doesn't abuse me in the halls. Someone who's also a nerd, or do you want like an opposites attract thing? Oh, that's why he's going for the rugby guy. I see where they're going with this. Just someone I can have a laugh with. And, and he's nice and kind. I'm a little bit uncertain at the moment whether Charlie is out as gay in the school. Because I guess if so, it still wouldn't excuse Ben's actions at all. But his thought process makes a little bit more sense because he's like, I can't be seen talking to the gay kid versus just a dude in the hall. Is he like a track star? What? They're calling him nerdy and yeah, he's like, like a, a dope ass athlete. Yeah, my favorite nerd, like Usain Bolt. He's gonna watch him be like athletic af. Yeah, what a nerd. You know, running and stuff. God, it's so awkward. What are these hardwood floors? How fucking posh is this school? Charlie, I wanted to tell you that I'm gay too. What? I'm, I'm in love with you. Oh, he's just hearing this, I'm guessing. Do you want to join the rugby team? Ha! Huh. We have enough players for the team. I mean... We're not allowed to actually play against other teams. Just because you're fast, it doesn't mean you'll be good at rugby. And you're, like, really fast. So, um, I thought you might be interested. He's like, yeah, it's a way to spend time with you. Aren't I a bit small and weak to be a rugby player? We're just a school team, you know. It's not that serious. <laughs> so you're saying I am small and weak? <laughs> it kind of sounded that way, yeah. So... Do you want to join? Putting him on the spot, man. He's like, can I have a second to think about it? No, decide right now. And you're sure you want to spend a whole hour with giant moronic rugby lads? Yes. 
I mean, look, I guess I don't really know the context behind all of this and whether there's more things going on, but it's a bit judgmental, isn't it? Moronic rugby players, like, hey man, like maybe some of them are, are nice, I don't know. No, he's a year 10. He's not well oh. skinny though. He's here and them talk about him. Like, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but we actually want to be decent. Does he even like sports? Everyone knows he's gay. <laughs> oh, okay, so he is either out or I guess has been outed or everyone just assumes. But does he even like sport? Man, am I, like, did I transport into an alternate universe where, like, track running isn't a sport? Hi. Hi. God, every scene, that's so, like, it's awkward underneath it. I know I was joking about being weak, but I'm definitely too weak for this. Uh, where is your can-do attitude? <laughs> you left long ago. Just, Just like, like, get the ball and run. No one will catch you. I bet you can do it. <laughs> Why is he standing there with such NPC energy? He's like, come on, I know you can do it. That was perfect. Was it? Yeah, I mean, tackling isn't all about strength anyway. Come on, I'm going to die. <laughs> I mean, I low key feel like the rugby players will like target you. I'm just gonna say what's nice is that the rugby guys aren't like, I don't know, being all paranoid and weird about the fact that he's gay. They're just behaving like normal, chilling in the change room, not like, oh, don't look at me, you little gay boy. I don't wanna, oh, you, you don't, I don't want you to sex me. Don't turn me gay by looking at me. <laughs> They're just being normal. Aw, oh, he's out of the, oh, that's so sad. I feel like he's gonna end up just loving rugby. Hey. Oh, they all applauded him. What the hell? Okay, they're actually quite nice. Oh, he's in the group now. What? This is getting sweet. Not at all the dynamic I thought this show was gonna go for. Is he gonna like drift away from his old friend group? This is honestly like a healthy, nice dynamic. Am I, am I imagining things? <laughs> I don't know. You think like, oh, nerdy, apparently. Previously bullied gay kid joins the rugby team. And I don't know if it's just me, but I expect them all to treat him like dirt, be mean, keep bullying him. But they're all just like quite welcoming and nice, you know? I guess I feel like there could be a complication soon. Well done. <laughs> What was that tension? Oh, uh, maybe like Charlie will make a move or something and he won't like it. Is he still texting? <laughs> Bro, he literally said he didn't want to see you anymore. Why do I feel like Ben's gonna like attack him or something? Oh, he is, he totally is, right? Oh no, is he gonna follow? Kind of weird if you do just follow him though. Maybe like he goes there, Ben attacks him, and then Nick, is that his name? Comes in and saves the day. Oh. Yo, you're so creepy. Just like skulking in the corner. Charlie. Don't touch me. God, what's your problem? I'm trying to be nice. No, you're, you're, trying, to you're trying to force yourself on him. You're just scared of getting caught. Why would I be scared of getting caught? Hey. Everyone in school already knows I'm gay. Yeah, I was gonna say. You're the one who's scared of getting caught. You can't even look at me oh. when other people are around. But he is escalating. Not to mention the fact that you have a girlfriend. Yeah. I, oh, the man is getting so angry. This is not gonna end well. Uh, I just hope that Charlie doesn't like threaten him or something, you know, cause if he says something like, oh, better be careful or I'll tell your girlfriend, then <sighs> fist is about to fly. Don't be angry at me for not wanting to come out yet. I'm not angry about that. That's, yeah, that's clearly not what he said. Don't you think I, of all people, would understand if you're figuring out your sexuality? Valid. Why are you angry at me? I'm angry. He literally just... <laughs> I'm so frustrated at Ben already. I don't want to meet up with you anymore because you're being quite rude to me and you have a girlfriend and I'm very uncomfortable with that. And Ben's like, oh, you're angry at me for figuring out my sexuality? And then Charlie's like, no, I I'm angry at you for the things I just said, actually. I'm not angry at you for that. And Ben replies, then why are you angry at me? And if I was Charlie, I'd be like, are you, can, can you, are you hearing the words I'm saying? We're gonna never meet up when you want to, where you want to, when you feel like kissing a boy. That's what I said. You don't care about me at all. He just wants that boy. I don't think anyone else is gonna want to go out with you, is it? Oh my god, prick! What the hell? Ew! 
Ew, disgusting. No, this is uncomfortable. Charlie, no, I like you, Punch him. Kick him in the crotch. What do you want from me? Kick him in the crotch. Kick him in the crotch. Oh, hell yes. Punch him. Hit him. He told you to stop. Slay. I like him. Piss off. Oh my god. My boy just deserves like a hit in the face. You okay? Yo, he's 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 dope, he's wholesome. Good man. You seemed kind of like something was up while we were getting changed, so I I wanted to check everything was okay. Okay, I mean I guess it's a little less creepy that he followed him because it's like, oh you just seemed like not yourself and I wanted to make sure you're okay. You say sorry a lot. Don't say it. I kinda wanna say it. <laughs> That's this is this is a conversation I have with so many people. And I always want to say, hey, stop apologizing for existing. I like that you exist, actually. Oh, God. Out. Even that was like awkward. Again, like the dynamic is not where I thought it was going and it's so sweet. Like, I mean, obviously he just experienced something negative with that guy being like that, but overall the direction of the plot, the beats we've had have been quite positive. You know, good things have happened. Okay. I'll ask him to like hang sometime, right? Is he gonna look back? He never does. He's always just like doing his own thing. I was about to say like, oh, he could like ask him out, but I guess Nick hasn't really given him any indication he's into him. He's just been nice and hung around. Good practice, Nicky. Oh, okay. I mean, he is lost in his thoughts. So maybe, maybe he does feel that way. Thank you for being. That's fine, actually, just leave it at that. I'm curious who is gonna, like, initiate any sort of conversation here. Is his face gonna light up? Oh, see, that's cute. Uh, the dog! <laughs> okay, I think he is actually into him. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, I didn't expect that to end there. What the heck? I mean, I've said a lot, to be honest. I think at the end of the day, really, I'm just surprised. I don't know. By and large, that episode was just him having pretty positive experiences, other than obviously Ben being an asshole. But yeah, that was a little bit refreshing. And don't get me wrong, it still had that like cliche aspect a little bit, but in positive ways, like ways that didn't feel like they were impacting the plot negatively. And I gotta say, I am so curious how it's gonna proceed going forward. I already feel like I wouldn't be able to anticipate the plot beats, which is a weird feeling, but not a bad one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.